Oh man, so boy, boy, boy. Andrew Schultz going there, man. I rocks with Andrew Schultz for this right here. But he said, since the, the them folks want to be called they so bad, then they owe Jamie Foxx an apology for reaching, calling that man anti-Semitic. And he also said Jennifer Aniston need to apologize to that boy as well as Charlemagne. They holding them their feet to the fire. Charlemagne didn't go too hard on the Jewish folks, but uh, he definitely going hard on uh, Jennifer Aniston on the Brilliant Idiots podcast. Let's tap into this real quick. Smash the like button just for the vibes. A hundred likes for the for the vibes, man. Let's see what's going on. Um, what did you think of the Jamie Foxx thing? I thought that this was the biggest bullshit in the entire world. I agree. Facts. I Facts. cannot believe that Jamie was pushed in any way to apologize. To apologize. You you should never have to apologize for someone else misinterpreting what you said based on their paranoia and anxiety. This is oh, a commonly God. used term. The term is biblical in nature. That's right. For God's reason, God is saying, "Hey, it can be your closest friend mm. that might stab you in the back." That's, That's right. the messaging. That's right. The story is your best friend, the one that you love, the one that you cared about, the one that you fed, might be the person that gives you up. So be careful the company you keep. It's never been. I, I've heard this phrase said so many different times throughout my life. Whether it's uh. you know they, they they even hated on Jesus, so what they gonna do to you? They talked about Jesus, so what they gonna do to you? They even killed Jesus, so why wouldn't they kill you? It's Not inspiration. Once have I ever thought to myself, oh, that's that the day is the Jewish people. Yeah. It's never been a thing. We're talking about haters. Yeah. Also, people. Also, 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 Haters. if you subscribe to the fact that this is meant to be about the Jews, right? Sure. And I'm assuming it's only Jews that think this, right? I mean, I read the comment and didn't even cross my mind. Of course. And you're you're a, it's a never normal, and you're Jewish. You're a normal Jewish. person that would never put that on to Jamie, right? Who's never given you any reason to think that before. Ever. It's just absurd. I'm pretty sure almost every single person that read that comment thought that, bro. Like I told y'all, when I first seen it, man, I'm just saying, oh, okay, this is one of the motiva motivational quotes that probably relates to his life. And he said it did. You know, it was an actual friend that did him wrong. Um, probably leaked some information about his status when he was um, not not well. And he made that post. So it's like, okay, I, I, I rock with that. You right, Jamie. You keep it pushing. Who thought that it was possibly an anti-Semitic thing? You had to be reaching for that. Like I told y'all, these um these organizations, they got people on payroll that just look for things out there to go ahead and get some sympathy for some shit. They be pimping the struggle, pimping sympathy, pimping whatever they can to go ahead and get engagement. I mean, not engagement, but um, donations and stuff. Just the same way how they try to make um Kyrie donate. I think he actually did, but um. They be pimping, they struggle, bro. Third, but if you're thinking that he's talking about the Jews, right? right. That means you believe oh. that the Jews killed Jesus. Oh. Mm. Not the Romans, mm. which is the commonly That's accepted history, mm. which Jews often reference. Hey, it wasn't us. The Romans did it. They did all the thing. They did the discipline, etc. So which one is it? Fact. Is it... The, the Jewish people that are saying that this is anti-Semitic, which one is it? Did the Jews kill Jesus? Because that's what you're implying. Right. Because if it's if the Jews didn't kill Jesus, which is what these people are saying and what is commonly accepted, it was the Romans, then even if he did mean they by a group, it would be the Romans. Hmm. In no way could you connect this to Jews. Hmm. So I think that whoever made a big stink about this owes Jamie a massive apology. Facts. And also, even for Jamie, going out there and clearing it up is a unbelievably kind gesture. But that's what Jesus to the Jews. That's what Jesus would want. <laughs> Jesus would tell you when somebody curses you, give them a blessing. That's it. Jesus would tell you when somebody throws some evil energy at you, reply with some good energy. Bro, Jamie's the, just a kind-hearted person. Also, the, the self-absorption, uh, uh, is that the word I'm looking for? Like, to, th to someone who just comes out of a life-threatening situation and then immediately after that wants to let people know, hey, those people that you think are with you in your camp, sometimes they're not. And maybe they were trying to do some devious, fucked up shit behind the scenes to Jamie. And then he comes out of this life-threatening situation. Yeah. And then he's like, yo, I was just in it, 
Watch your back. By the way. Because you're going to find out. And then to make that about you. Yo, 50 And how Cent. you're the victim and you're aggrieved. Someone who almost died. Yo, 50 Cent and g got a song called They Hated on Jesus. Cat Williams had a joke about people hating on Jesus. But you know who the person he was talking about? Judas. They're, uh, not, talking, they're not talking about Jews. They're talking about the Judas. Jews. One piece of shit guy. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? So I think Jennifer Aniston got trolled. Well, well, I think somebody I trolled her. I can't wait till we talk about Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> I think she liked <laughs> that shit is crazy. I think she liked this post yeah. because she read it like all of us, like did. everybody Facts. else did. It was like that's right, nobody these fake even motherfuckers. thought about the Jews. That's right, these fake people they killed Jesus, and I think somebody trolled her, either started tweeting her crazy, hundred percent, or left leaving comments yep. that made her just do that. This is dangerous. That what she did. And then she comes out she and right. then goes, right. I do not support anti-Semitism in any way. So to pr protect herself, right? The fucking idiot. To protect <laughs> herself, she throws Jamie under the bus. Come on. Right man. after he comes out of this life-threatening situation. This man is stressed out. That woman's evil, bro. This man, listen, That's an listen, evil woman. This yo. man is stressed the fuck out. That's you an know evil what I'm saying? woman. He just went through something that could be considered fatal. Yeah. And you just gonna motherfucking put more stress on him? You know what I'm saying? Nah, bro. Jesus Christ. Where is Jamie's apology, Jennifer? Yo, J Jennifer needs to give Jamie an apology. And any people that were saying that what he did was anti-Semitic and trying to, like, fan the flames of that, they need to give Jamie an apology as well. And he showed the fucking class, of, uh, type of classic individual that he is. The thing about it is, I know Jennifer Anderson has been seeing the smoke that she's been getting from the black community. But she ain't gonna say nothing, though. They don't respect the black community, bro. That's it's crazy. It's crazy when you see it in comparison to other situations. She's getting smoke and hasn't said a peep because of the respect value. Like the bass can't be stopped for her when it comes to us. We don't control it the way we need to to be able to stop bags. Like nobody, like Jennifer Anderson ain't worried about a Tyler Perry film. She's not worried about Lee Daniels film. She's not worried about certain things like that. Like crazy. To even go out there and be like, hey, I want to clarify, no way did I mean this. Well, who was it that had a problem with it? Do you That's tell my me. point. That's why I think Jonathan well, Anderson got trolled. But I'm saying he no, obviously reacted to something. Was it the ADL? No, Jennifer posted that. And, well, the, I, and I guess when Jennifer- What's the chronology? What's the order of oh, events? Oh, this is what I saw. I saw. I saw Jamie's post. Right. Which I read and it didn't do me anything because I've heard that a million times, right? And then I saw Jennifer's reply and then I saw everybody going ape shit saying, come and come the fuck on. This isn't anti-Semitic. Bro, and you know what I it think is? somebody trolled Jennifer. This um, I did cover the replies to Jamie's post. I showed y'all, showed y'all that in my previous video. This place a wider frame, which focuses on Jewish issues, described Fox's post as horrifically, horrifically anti-Semitic. What message. is a wider frame? It's a, uh, I don't know, I imagine some blog or something. Never like heard that. of it. Nobody's ever heard of it. But the point is, in the Jewish community, that's probably a big blog. I know a lot oh. of big blogs in the Jewish community. I've never you heard of wider so? frame. Oh. I know that, even if it's not a big blog, all it needs to be is a blog, and then it starts that moment. The Jewish guy that's in the room said, no, it's not a big, big blog, in case I didn't hear him. Momentum, other people cover it, and of course you want to see a celebrity go down, so they're all going to attack him. But I guess what I'm trying to say is like, pointing, calling something like this horrifically anti-Semitic. Think about like the actually horrifically anti-Semitic shit that happens all the time. That's right. Like actual that's right. shit that is happening that's all right. the time. How can you even compare the two? And when you do this, that's that boy who cried wolf shit. Mm. People are gonna, when you call this horrifically anti-Semitic, you gonna start desensitizing people to the term horrifically anti-Semitic. Dog, Schultz, they realize the people that really got the real hate in their heart, they can't scam them out of money for donations, bro. The people that really have the hate in their heart, it's no, it's no fixing them, so don't even worry about them, because that's not what it's about. It's about to go ahead and see what they can do to get more money to put in, the, in their community. Like, it's like, y'all go ahead and round up as much extra dollars from outside folks to bring back home so we can continue this workflow with what we got going on, bro. That's what they're doing. And I'm not saying just like, it's not just with um, um, the, the, the ADL or the Jewish folks. It's not just with them. It's any, like I told you, all these organizations that's built off of victim stuff. I understand some people, I, 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 it's some organizations that I support that came together based off of bad circumstances. But, Certain people, a great deal of people, really be pimping a struggle to go ahead and get resources to fund what they actually want to fund, bro. Maybe for they actually I got their fund, dog. But that's what is going on, Schultz. They do they know that Jamie got the bag. They can go ahead and run his pockets like Kyrie if it came down to it. Boy who cried woke. 
the girl who cried woke. woke. You Cry know what woke. I'm saying? Because this is what, this is what's crazy to me. It says for some, Jamie needs an apology from a does. wider frame, y'all. Wider frame, you need to apologize. That's Jamie. right. These this guys is a bullshit have called out play. another post by Cardi B, which is pretty outrageous. I'm not gonna lie. What's the post? She said, I guess when she threw the mic and found out she wasn't gonna get charged for it, she tweeted, "Lawyers a Jew. He gonna chew up all the charges." But she posted a picture of like two Hasidic guys in the hats and the sideburns. Walking down the street. No, Cardi didn't do that. <laughs> she did that. <laughs> she didn't do that. She did that. I can't. I can't. I can't defend that. Me, I don't know anything. Me, I don't know anything about that. Bro. I don't even know a Hasidic lawyer. Thank you. <laughs> so she just you know posted. I mean? she, she just googled a picture of some stereotypical Jewish people. She's just like, what? They're reading the Torah and the Talmud. They're practicing all day. They're not involved in law and, like that. You now. That being said, if you're gonna have a good lawyer. Also, you know what I mean? <laughs> you, 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 listen, if you know what's a good but, lawyer. But, but by the way, even listen, with, there are options for lawyers. But talking about shows, but guess but what? You want with, a Cardi, good one. With, with Cardi saying that, that's not even new. Right. There's so many people who have said that prior to her. What did 50 Cent used to call his legal team? Do you know. Unit. Oh, really? yes. unit? Oh, really? He used to say that all the time. That's, That's what he used to literally call his That's legal hilarious. team. That's funny. Like, this, That's is, funny. They, they, this is not new. What Cardi even did and said is not new. Now, I, I don't think that's anti-Semitic. Would it be considered? Yeah, this should. is what I would say. This is what I would say. It's not worth defending what she did. Yeah, yeah, If you're getting yeah, yeah, into yeah. the argument of what's anti-Semitic and what's not, what Jamie did isn't even close to anti-Semitic. It's not even in the same galaxy yeah, as yeah, anti-Semitism. Yeah. It actually has nothing to do with the Jews. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. This is specifically targeted, and there is a stereotype yeah, the, that is the used. Yeah, the picture is crazy. And the picture doesn't even match up to what her legal team would look like. Right. It's just her just being ignorant and not knowing that that's even a thing that would be offensive potentially for Jews. You know what else pissed me off about but the Jennifer I, I think, Aniston thing? I think what a lot of things that, that people realize is, if I was to make the argument, is when you come from poverty, the position of lawyer is admirational. It's someone successful. It's True. someone who is uh, providing for their family. It's a, a citizen who obeys the law. So calling a group of people lawyers is like calling a group of people doctors. It's like calling a group of people scientists, right? You can't, in your mind, you're not going, oh, that's offensive. You're going, I'm giving them a compliment. I, I only knew five jobs that were respectful. It was lawyer, doctor, teacher, whatever. But don't we do that with everything? Don't we, with doctors, don't we say Indians? That ex exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. I, I, don't doctors. Think, I don't think that in their mind, they believe there's anything offensive about it because they're using it as a compliment. Hey, look at the legacy of this group of people mm -hmm. and how they have these high-ranking positions in culture and society. McCarty wild out with the picture, though. The, the picture's yeah, the crazy. Picture's crazy. Look, she, inaccurate. She's That's the thing about um the the uh, what I will say how things get lost in translation with anti-Semitic things. For Jews, actually complimenting them is low-key anti-Semitic because it's based off of when Hitler said he had so much power is the reason why they were the, the problem. You feel me? So that's why they get like, don't compliment us too much because it's similar to the Holocaust type stuff. Matt, her lawyer, he probably looks like me. He exactly. doesn't look yeah, like yeah, yeah. Hasid. So to yeah. throw it all in the yeah. same thing. No, no, no. Click, 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 click on, click on the, Jennifer, the Jennifer message, because this is what really pissed me off about this whole thing. See, y'all don't be reading. P click on the oh, message. I was going to point Click that on out. the message, Taylor. <laughs> click on the message. Uh, let me, it says, it says, this really makes me sick. I did not like this post on purpose or by accident. What the fuck does, does that, that mean? mean? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I did not like You're this liar, post bro. on purpose. So somebody, so Mark Zuckerberg liked it for you. What the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> that sounds like Tory Lane saying, "Hey, uh, Tory Lane's lawyer saying, hey, uh, he's got an alcohol problem and he had trauma as a child, but Tory." You didn't admit to doing anything. <laughs> you didn't admit to doing anything. What I, the fuck is going on, yo? I do not support any form of anti-Semitism, and I truly don't tolerate hate of any kind. None of us period. do, especially Jamie. We got to stop yeah. doing this to people, man. It's like, yo, clearly Jennifer and, ja Jennifer and Jamie have zero relationship. But it's just whack that we just keep putting these labels on people for nothing. It's like, yo, so so selfish. Like, if you're if you're a group of people like nice. the Jews who have been persecuted for literally thousands of years, right? You would understand that doing something like this for clicks is only going to hurt that cause. 
And it's That's selfish. Real. It's like, oh, we can get some clicks here. Us, this little uh, blog, whatever it is, can get a little bit of attention. What is the cost of the att attention? The cost mm -hmm. of the attention is people going, oh, we don't have to take it seriously when they cry anti-Semitism. That's the cost. That's how selfish that is. If you were really concerned about the Jewish community, you would make sure to push your efforts towards the very real anti-Semitism that is happening on a daily basis. And please believe you do not have to look far. That's you do right. not have to look far. But mm. this is clickbait bullshit that is selfish and is actually going to hurt your cause. This wags in a fantasy. But, uh, Chris, from the... That's why I never watched Sex in the City. Why is, <laughs> why is um, a Jewish lawyer offensive? Okay. I, mean, I don't think it is. I think putting a picture of a Hasid. No, not I'm, a picture, but I, don't they even it's say It's tall the, black dude. It's tall black dude. Right. Basketball. Yo, you play yeah. basketball. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. you're like, why? Because I'm tall and I'm black. I have uh, to play basketball. It's like... Gotcha. Nah, bro, I thought it would be cool if you played basketball. I love basketball players. I admire basketball players. I wish I could be a basketball player. I didn't think calling you one would be offensive. Mm -hmm. And you're like, yeah, but just because I'm black, that means I got to play basketball. Why yeah, can't really I? Oh, God. It, it, it's one of these types of like, uh, uh, I don't want to say like racism. It's one of these types of, and even hate is like a strong word, where the person doing it truly doesn't feel any hate. Mm -hmm. But the person receiving it goes... Uh, it, 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 yeah, I get it. You know what I mean? You're making me feel a way. That's why I tell people I'm a proctologist. <laughs> if I'm first class somewhere and somebody like somebody be like, what do you do? You, you rap? Like, you know, people don't like, you know, people, they'll see people come on the plane and say, oh, what's up? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. You, know, yeah. you rap? No, I'm a world, world renowned proctologist. <laughs> <laughs> so you do that all now? the time. Did it yesterday. <laughs> so there's a perfect example like going up to a black, yo, so you see a black dude in first class. So are you a rapper? Yeah. Like, that person genuinely is excited to potentially meet a rapper, but they don't realize that their internal, like, racism can't I wouldn't even imagine. call that racism. Their I get what you're saying. Their inter internal, what is it called? Uh, bias? Not bias, not yeah. bias. Uh, Stereotyping or prejudice. Their internal prejudice can't imagine a black person to be a lawyer or can't imagine a black person to be a CEO of this company, they're immediately assuming black wealth, yeah. rap. Yeah. And that is what- Or I, sports. Or sports. Yeah. And I imagine yeah. that is what the frustration you guys feel when you go through that situation. You're like, Ugh, I don't think this guy hates me. It just sucks that they assume that about yeah. all the people that look like, like I me. I get in the car with and a driver think, yesterday. He's like, what you doing this weekend? You performing? And like- I can't even, I'm not mad at that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. I'm like, what, I don't even know what the fuck he- It's a rich, affluent position that people admire, yeah. just like a lawyer, but at the same time, it's like, yo, we can do other things than that. We're not yeah. all just lawyers or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. I can see the frustration. All right, so that's why I'm gonna wrap it up right there, man. <sighs> Y'all heard what I, what I had to say. Very interesting conversation, the boys potting right there. Check out the full thing on Brittany Idiots, dog. Um, them boys, I agree, they owe, they owe him, they, Oh, since y'all want to be they, then they owe him an apology, Jennifer Aniston. You owe him an apology too, but like I said, man, unless we can hit them pockets, nobody really going to care to respect us. We got to figure out a way to hit some folks' pockets <laughs> when it comes to situations like this because you could damage his pockets inadvertently, man, or purposely. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. I'm out of here, though, y'all.